Hello, everybody, and welcome back to... Well, uh, yeah, that, that's, it's simple. Um, a few things I want to share. I went on a date today, and it turned out really good. I'm kind of hoping it uh, continues to turn out good. Um, other than that, there's uh, new skins that have came out. They're pretty much all the same, just reskins on multiple tanks. Uh, don't get me wrong, I actually do not mind the way these skins look. They look really good. And uh, the one for the E5, I just outright bought it. I really like the way it looked, and it gives you a different feel for the tank compared to what it usually is. Uh, kind of weird that I'm featuring the E5 two times in a row. I uh, do not want to try to do that, but hey, new skin. Should I bought it for a different tank to show that off? Oh, I also did buy it for the E75. E75 looks really good on that one as well. Um, there's a couple that actually look really nice. Ooh, good penetration there for 407 on the VK. This is live, by the way. This is not a recording. <laughs> this is me playing right now. So I'm a little bit, uh... Ooh, oh. Let's see if we can get some uh, tracking shots there into the mouse. We want to lock him down. Try and hold him. Slow them the heat round. See what we can do. The E5, honestly, you guys, if you don't have the E5, you're missing out on some really good gameplay. Just because this tank is capable of so much. It's versatile. It's able to do anything you really want it to. Alright, so we're going to knock down that wall. Now we're going to load back in the heat rounds here. There I am tapping B twice while I already have my premium consumable active. You know, just absolute muppetry. So, all well, the tanks, as of right now. With all the changes that they're doing, everything else. Honestly, I think World of Tanks is going in the right direction. Uh, there's a lot of things coming up. Super testing, um, sadly, I missed out on applying for it. I just wasn't able to find the apply and got told that I'm completely missed out and not going to be able to join in until the next go around. Or if I somehow become a CC between now and, I don't know, but couple of months from now, but just depending. Depending on who the new liaison is and everything else, I'll see what I can try and do. But no guarantees. Uh, trying out new perks. Enjoying Last Stand quite a bit, actually. Last Stand, I've been loading up on a couple of my tanks. And it's it's something different to try out. You know, you get below 10% hit points. You get that additional view range. You get super buffed, basically, is what it's doing. And it's making a real big difference in my gameplay. But it is situational. You got to get low health for it to be able to activate. Which does make quite the difference. And there we go. A type 5. I'm actually wondering if I can try and get a shot into the tracks. Nope. He backed up just in time. And then again, that is a lot of space. I'm going to be firing heat rounds into. I would be better off with AP rather than heat into those tracks. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to load in the AP. Should be maybe able to pin that. Maybe. I don't want to use my standards on the mouse. Type 5 is definitely the one we're going to be aiming at here. Oh my... I know. I made a mistake right there. I aimed so far inward. In. No. Stop. I only have two more of these. Stop. Please. Okay. Nope. I'm just going to track him. I guess it's... I, I guess if I hold him there, that's okay too. He is running the uh, big derp. You know, this entire time I could have been loading the heat into his face. That probably would have been better plays. To begin with. I'm actually going to sit right here and just deal with what the Type 5 wants to throw at me. Because if he gets me low health, I'm going to be able to really hit him even harder. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, getting low health isn't exactly the main thing that you want to do. One more shot. Come on, Type 5. Hit me with your derpy. You missed. But, honestly, nah, World of Tanks, I've been enjoying the crap out of it for whatever reason. Today was a really good day, too. Playing with Blade and Sven. Uh, Sven is one of the people who won the most recent giveaway I did, and I gave him a year of premium. And, honestly, he's been enjoying it. Okay, so now that we have... Last stand activated. Let's see what this tank's going to be doing. Come on, pop out. Pop out. That reload right now. If you look at the mini-map, by the way, if you want to re rewind a little bit, 
and you want to take a look at how much the view range did increase by I was not keeping track on how much it did jump up by but it jumped up quite the amount honestly last stand makes such a big difference when it comes down to those uh little immediates I mean, just look at the way the tank's acting right now. It's acting really, really fast. Those perk increases with Last Stand, getting that active, it just... I feel like everything just takes a massive leap, and it goes crazy. Okay? And it, it's really weird, because originally I was running Rapid Aim, which increases my dispersion. Well, not my dispersion. It increases turret rotation, gun rotation... Had a couple of really nice blocks like that. Uh, 420 silver. <laughs> that, that That's kind of funny, not gonna lie. But with the dispersion, not dispersion, with a rapid aim, you, it's just faster response times. You're able to block your hatch if you need to block your hatch with your gun, and it makes a huge difference. But with last stand, I find it to be extremely viable on light tanks and medium tanks. Uh, heavy tanks, I'm right now testing it on it to see how well it works. But I can say the second you are below that threshold of 10%, the performance of your tank just skyrockets through the roof, and the difference is tremendous. So yeah, if you guys want to give it a try and run last stand, light tanks, it is definitely beneficial to have on because of the view range increase you get whenever you get low health, and just the reload increase, everything increasing. It makes such a big difference having it on. Now... I don't know what to talk about. I, I'm i just in such a great mood today. I went on a date. Oh, really good. It went extremely well. Uh, she's a substitute teacher. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of... You know, my hopes are high. It's been a few years since I've been on a date, so... Hopes are... You know, the hopes are high. But, you know, kind of using my channel like a blog by this point just talking about daily things small things to update you guys on yeah I'm just yeah, I, I, I don't know how to explain it I'm in, in a really good mood really good mood now to jump into something else um, if you guys want content you want me to work on some stuff Post it in the comment section. If you guys want to see a tank review and it's something I haven't done yet, or something you want me to update, go over again, dude, be my guest. Leave a comment, post it down there, contact me on Discord. Let, let me know what you want me to do, and I will try my best to make sure I get it out there with as much accuracy as I can. I'm more than likely going to be taking a shot from the 13105. Maybe two of them. Nope, just the one. So now... It's totally okay to take a little bit of damage to get into those aggressive positions. Now behind me we have a M4885, so the Patton. Let's go ahead and rotate here. I am going to load heat rounds because I don't want to put up with a Patton haul down. So I'm, I'm going to be the nice guy and load in the heat rounds. But it's always nice to carry standards. You always got to carry standards. Me, I play my E5 to be extremely aggressive. And I put myself in those situations that I do need the heat rounds. As much as I can. And right there, as you guys can see, lifting the gun to block the shell did come in handy right there. As I shoot the ground. Double artillery. Ooh, two nukes. Alright, that's going to be not fun to get hit by. Let's actually see if we can keep him tracked. No. No point to try. That uh, did not go good for him too well. Let's go ahead. Get some moving here. Some top-down shots. I hear artillery. I'm uncomfortable. Oh, Conqueror. Pull that in front of my shot. Makes me so sad. It's okay, though. 705. We can put heat rounds on the side of the turret there. Because, you know, high explosive anti tank rounds, they don't ricochet. They, uh, just outright find it, and if they can go through, they go through. Well, they do have an 85 degree ricochet point, but 85 degrees is uh, quite the amount. That's almost like aiming at someone flat on. There are There is some armor in game that can hit that 85 degree mark consistently. For instance, 60 TP with the top armor that's 70 millimeters. It can hit it consistently. 
and one of the most recently buffed tanks. And there we go, 250 armor, bouncing heat rounds, which honestly nice to see. And thank you for the side. We're gonna put some rounds into your side. Now with the 263, with its most recent, uh, since it's back in the game, and for the top armor with standard rounds, you can't overmatch that if you have a uh, 90 or bigger. So if you guys are struggling right now to pin the 263 because a lot more people are playing it, uh, that's the best tip I can give you about that tank right now. Ah, you were tracked. <laughs> yeah, guys, I, I, I am just an absolute Muppet today. I'm in such a great mood. I don't even know what to say. I'm, I just feel good. I would love to get some tracking shots on this IS-7 to uh, get that assist damage up as much as I can. Gonna load in those HE rounds to keep them tracked. And deal damage. Because all I want to do is just keep them tracked. Get aim for the backtrack there. A little bit of extra assist damage off that, which, you know, not too bad. Two matches in a row, not shabby, but you guys, I, I don't know. I'm in a really good mood today, and I'm going to be going to work tonight. Um, Thanksgiving, I might be having a stream popping up on Thanksgiving over on Twitch, along with uh, coming this Friday. So if you guys do want to jump in, check that out. Be my guest. Um, other than that, you guys have a fantastic day, night, afternoon, whatever time it is you're catching this. And thank you for all the support you guys have been giving me the past um, couple of months. It has been awesome. And yeah, I'm just ready. I'm ready. I'm going to be working on a couple of things. I have a couple of requests that I'm working on right now. Uh, for instance, I think the next tank you guys might be seeing pop up as a review might be the Object 260. I am working on that tank a little bit. But artillery has not been kind to me. Artillery has been very mean to me. Not exactly the greatest matches inside that tank. Could be better. But till next time, you guys, thank you for everything. Enjoy your day.